uh, check out the the collected miscellany, which was uh, already uploaded on uh, already uploaded on YouTube early on. Okay, anyway, let's not waste any time. Let's check out her um, Furina reflection in the mirror in the mirror collected miscellany. Lady Farina's dramatic twists never fail to amaze. Up, uh, wrong button. Sorry. Lady Farina's dramatic twists never fail to amaze. You can never predict whether her next song will be a rousing soprano or a melancholy contralto, nor where her whirling dance will next lead the audience's gaze. That was a snippet from one of the most popular editions of the Steambird. <sighs> miss me. Farina has an entourage of hydro-proficient companions to assist her in various capacities. To show her gratitude, she occasionally invites them to her tea parties. And a lot of people will realize, right? With the I didn't realize it when I watched the reaction. The notion of well, I, 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 when I watched the, um, the demo. But when she is in the party, the cool black, down when she's going to slide right, her hair is seduced. short. But when her outfit is white in color, Farina's normal attack can combo up to four sword strikes, long. dealing physical damage to enemies. Using a charged attack consumes a set amount of stamina yeah. to unleash as you can see her right here. Aura, her hair is really long when she to nearby enemies. Um, fish form. Farina's arca alignment. There is you see? Yeah. Periodically, if she's black, her hair is short. Attack, if she's white, her hair is long. Thorn or a surging blade descends on the enemy. Dealing Numa or Usia aligned hydro damage based on her current Arca alignment. Yeah, and her changing form is very useful for exploration. Her elemental skill invites the guests of the Salon Solitaire into battle to support her performance. When Farina's Arca alignment is Usia, she scatters a spray of celebratory bubbles dealing AoE hydro damage based on her max HP and summons the three members of the Salon Solitaire. So Usia is black? Namely, Gentilhomme Usher the Ball Octopus, Sir Intendant Cheval Moran the Bubbly Seahorse, and Mademoiselle Crabaletta the Armored Crab. The Salon members periodically attack nearby enemies, prioritizing the active character's target, and deal hydro damage based on max HP. When a Salon member attacks, the strength of the attack increases based on the number of nearby party members, whose current HP is over a certain percentage and consumes some HP from her. The more characters that meet the requirements, the greater the increase. When Farina's Arca alignment is Numa, she summons the Singer of Many Numa. Waters, this which periodically she, her, her heals nearby is, active characters when her by the mouth hair is based long on and her is white color. If Farina's elemental skill summons are on the field when she uses a charged attack, the lineup switches to match her new Arca alignment. The Salon members and Singer of Many Waters share a duration. So when the lineup changes, the new guests inherit the remaining duration. While Salon members or Singer of Many Waters exist, Farina can walk on water. Interesting. After unlocking the talent Unheard Confession, Farina's elemental skill is enhanced in two ways. Damage dealt by Salon members is increased, and the interval between heals from the Singer of Many Waters is decreased. Both scaling with max HP. Okay. The maximum buff that can be I'm obtained this way. I'm just Jimmy here. What artifact that she will be using? Time to shine. Harnessing the spirit of revelry, Farina's elemental burst creates a stage of bubbles and foam that deals AOE hydro damage based on her max HP, and causes all party members to enter the universal revelry state. Universal revelry while in state. Universal revelry state. Each time a nearby party member's HP rises or falls, Farina gains one stack of fanfare per 1% of their max HP that is gained or lost. Okay. The damage dealt by, and incoming healing bonus of, all nearby party members will be increased based on Farina's fanfare. Okay. When the duration ends, all stacks of fanfare are clear. So it's basically a buff uh, depending the on Furina's um, like whether either is in Usia or in Numa state. After unlocking the talent Endless Waltz, when the active character in your party receives healing, 
If the source of the healing is not Farina herself, and the healing overflows, then Farina will periodically heal a nearby party member by a certain percentage of their max HP for a short duration after. Okay. While Farina prefers the Opera House stage to the theater of combat, she has some insight into the common ground between battle and acting. Just a little fanfare can turn an impromptu performance into a tour de force. Farina's primary tool in combat is her elemental skill, with which she summons her entourage to assist her in battle. By switching between her guests with her charged attack, she can change her Arca alignment to suit the demands of the battle. Okay. So basically, when energy uh, is full, Farina fashions a stage out of foam and bubbles. As she accrues Farina fanfare is a from her fellow type party character. Members, she bolsters their combat capabilities, building up to a glorious finale fit for the finest opera. Kinda like how Naihida is. While I can't claim much expertise when it comes to opera, I have heard that actors often rehearse in front of the mirror. On the one hand, they need to immerse themselves in the character and the scene, and on the other, they must see themselves from the perspective of the audience to decide whether their act is emotionally compelling. I'm sure that Farina too has spent time adjusting her technique in front of the mirror all alone. But I wonder, who is it that she really sees looking back at her? What the hell? Okay. There's definitely some secret ongoing on over there. And the only way to find out is to go through um, the Archon Quest Chapter 4 Act 5 and probably her story quest. Okay, I think I pretty much got a good idea of how her gameplay is. I think it's best that I do a test run on her at the, um, at the whatchamacallit? The test run. Okay, let's um let me try it out um Fulina. The trial version of Fulina, not my own one. Because mine is still at level I just got her as of this video. Character description Fulina can use her charge attack to change her arc and at intervals her normal attack deals the corresponding Numa or Usia aligned hydro damage. When using her elemental skill Farina summons either the Salam members or the Singer of Many Water based on her current arc. The former fight alongside the active character and upon attacking consume the HP of character to increase damage dealt. The latter continuously heals the nearby characters. An elemental burst causes the whole body to enter the universal relevancy state which was um, explained in the Collected Miscellany video. In this state, Farina gains fanfare when, her, when character's HP increases or decreases, increasing the damage dealt and incoming healing bonus of all party members. Additional elemental orbs will drop during the trial event, blah 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 blah. Okay, got it. So... So that's how her idol, one of her idol. Okay, right now her normal form is... Oh, I believe this is her Numa um, form. Winner level 80. She's using the, her signature weapon which is the Splendor of Tranquil Waters. When the, char the equipping character's current HP increases or decreases, elemental skill damage dealt will be increased by 8% for 6 seconds, max 3 stacks. This effect can be triggered once every 0.2 seconds. When other party members' current HP increases or decreases, the equipping character's max HP will be increased by 40% for 6 seconds, max 2 stacks. Um, this effect can be triggered once every 0.2 seconds. The, aff the, aff the aforementioned effects can be triggered even if the video is off field. Hmm. Okay. As for artifact, let's see what definitely she's using. Oh! 4 piece elementals. The 4 piece golden troop. Considering the fact that she's uh, most of her damage comes from uh, elemental skill, which was mentioned in the uh, in the collected miscellany. Okay. Okay, I think I get a, a rough idea of how how her 
Whatcham I call it? Her, her build is? Cause I don't... Uh, maybe I'll just double confirm it on, on mid, on the, uh, on my resources. Okay, let's see her constellation. Um, constellation level 1. Love is a rebellious bird that none can tame. When using let the people rejoice, Furina will gain 150 fanfare. Additionally, Furina's fanfare limit is increased by 100. I believe this has something to do with her elemental burst. Okay, constellation level 2. A woman adapts like duckweed in water. Uh, while let the people rejoice last, Furi Again, this is definitely something to do with her elemental burst. Furina's fanfare gain from increase or decrease in nearby characters' HP is increased by 250%. Each point of fanfare above the limit will increase Furina's mass HP by 0.35%. Her maximum mass HP increase is 140%. Constellation 3 um, increase the level of uh, her, I, I believe her elemental burst by 3. Constellation 4. Okay, this one has something to do with her elemental skill. I believe. When the Salon members from Salon Solitaire hit an opponent, or the singers of many waters restore HP to nearby active characters, Furina will restore 4 energy. This effect can be triggered once every 5 seconds. Uh, Constellation 5 is basically increase the level of her elemental skill. Constellation 6. Hear me, let us raise the shadows of love. When using Salon Solitaire, Furina gains center of attention for 10 seconds. Throughout the duration, Furina's normal attack, charge attack, and plunging attacks are converted into Hydro Damage? Whoa, 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 whoa. That means whenever she uses her elemental skills, she infuses her all her normal at uh, her attacks into Hydro Damage. Just like how um, uh, Madden Shogun does, where whenever she activates her elemental burst, she infuses all of her attacks with um, Electro. So, similar concept. When um, when Furina uses her elemental skill, if she is at constellation six, she infuses infuses her attacks with hydro damage, which cannot be overridden by any other elemental infusion. So, yeah, this similar concept is the Raiden Shogun's elemental burst. Damage is also increased by an amount of equivalent to eighteen percent of Furina's max HP. Throughout the duration, Furina's normal attack, not including RKC sacred and secular attack, charge attack, and the impact of plunging attack will cause different effects up to every 0.1 second after hitting the opponents depending on her current arc alignment. Uh, Usia. Every 1 second, all nearby characters in the party will be hit by 4% of Furina's max HP for a duration of 2.9 seconds. Triggering this effect again will extend its duration. Arc Numa. This normal attack, charge attack, or plunging attack ground impact damage will be further increased by an amount equivalent to 25% of Furina's max HP. When any of the attacks mentioned previously hit and fallen, all nearby characters in the party will consume 1% of their current HP. So, um, Numa will be more on offensive, Usia will be more on uh, defensive and healing. During the duration of each instance of the of the center of attention, the above effects can be triggered up to six times. Center of attention will end when its effect have triggered six times or the duration expires. Okay, so on to her talents. Okay. Normal attack. Perform all to four consecutive strikes. Uh Salon Solitaire, let the people rejoice. Endless walls, when the active character in your property receives healing, if the source of the healing is not Furina herself and the healing overflows, then Furina will heal nearby party members for 2% second, for two percent of their max HP once every 2 seconds for the next 4 seconds. On her confession, every 1000 point of Furina's max HP can buff the different arc line Salon Solitaire in the following ways. Will increase Salon members' damage there by blah blah blah. Uh, okay, got it, got it. 
Zero country for you. I'm not a city decrease by thirty percent. Okay. Gotcha. Being too popular can be such a hassle. Who knew the people would adore me so much? I need to do this. Let's light it up. Everybody, stand back. Why does it do that? My name is Echo and Song! Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, long story short, right? If she goes um, black, she goes on the offensive. And strike a pose. Teamwork is dreamwork. Yep. Hold on, hold on. Let the world collide. Can I continue again? Because I want to. I want to familiar my. Myself with um um with uh free now. Yeah. Oh brilliant! Time to shine. Okay, long story short, right? Um Henshin. So long story short, right? Whenever um, Rina is, is is going on the offensive, right? The party members um, HP is decreases up to a certain uh, percentage, and then when she teamwork is dreamwork. And then if she heals, right? Okay. Can't be much good at how Rina works. Now on to the offensive. Engine! Pretty much got the idea of how Kalina works. Alright. Okay. I think I pretty much got the idea of, of how... Um, how fully now works. I think I pretty much have probably a good idea of how fully now works. Okay. But I think she's better off as a support from the way I see it. I just don't see her as a main DPS. Or maybe she can be a sub DPS because you just uh, what you can do is you just summon her her, her pets. And then when her pets attack, right? I believe when her pets attack, right? Wait, let, let's try that one more time. I'm looking at the... I'm looking at the H... Uh, the, the team with these, sorry. Everybody stand back! Time to shine! What happens if I... I'm just curious. You know, it uses an elemental... Oh, so it decreases. So as long as her Furina's um, what you call it, her pets are on field, right? Allies, um, ally party members 
even though they are on field right, guess their uh, HP decrease. Okay. Which means you really need to know how to manage your... You really need to know how to manage your HP. Yeah. Which means you really need to know how to manage your your HP. Okay, got it. I think I got it. <laughs> <laughs> 